Hey, garden friends. Welcome to another episode of AJ's Green Thumb. Hope you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. So I've been inspired after watching um, a fellow YouTube friend named Kiki Soto from Urban Girl Gardening and Lifestyle. She had sown several varieties of uh, basil. And I figured, why not just go ahead and get my basil sown and show you guys what I decided to sow. The first one here is Genovese basil. It's a sweet basil variety. It's what you usually make pesto from. It has large, tender leaves, and it has an intense flavor and aroma. Next up is lemon basil, and it has that pungent lemon scent, as the name implies. Um, it originated from Northern Africa and Southeast Asia. So because it has that really citrusy flavor, it works great in a lot of their dishes. Next up is dark opal basil. So this basil has like a clove-like scent and it has tastes of cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. So besides the intense flavor of dark opal, it has great ornamental appeal. So folks tend to use it a lot in gardens, uh, flower gardens, and uh, floral displays. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tamp this down so that I have sufficient soil to seed contact. Next up is Thai CM Queen. It also has a clove-like scent but more of an anise-like flavor, which is perfect for Asian-inspired cuisines. Not only is it a spectacular flavored herb, it has great ornamental appeal with its gorgeous purple flowers. Next up is Spicy Globe, also known as Greek basil. It's a compact, very amusing looking basil uh, it maxes out between 6 and 12 inches round. It has a peppery scent with hints of mint and citrus. Next up is sweet Italian basil, not to be confused with the Genovese variety, which was the first type I covered. Uh, as the name implies, this basil has a much sweeter flavor. This is the type commonly carried in stores and makes a great companion plant uh, to tomatoes and peppers. So now I'm just covering up these seeds. Again, pepper seeds need to be planted at a depth of a quarter inch. So not much soil on top, followed by me compacting the soil on top of the seed to increase that, uh, that soil to seed contact. Then I'm following up with some vermiculite. This is the really fine grain type. Um, sprinkle it on top. And again, the purpose it serves is to prevent that algae from forming on top, that, that mold from forming on top, and uh, it conserves moisture. So my preferred method of watering freshly planted seedlings or freshly planted seeds is wicking it up from the bottom. Um, that way, you know, with me watering from the top, it'll dislodge the seeds, you know, pepper seeds, uh, pepper and basil seeds. Uh, these seeds are very tiny. So when you water from the top, you stand a chance of dislodging the seeds. So bottom, bottom watering is uh, a more ideal method, in my opinion. So next up is clary sage. So it's a type of salvia and can be used as a medicinal herb. Um, its parts are used in various preparations uh, for digestive issues, anxiety, etc. And the essential oils are used in cosmetics and fragrances. So it also has great ornamental value in a flower garden and attracts a host of beneficial insects, including hummingbirds. 
So here I wanted to show you guys my new stash of dahlias. All right. So I had to redeem myself. I had to replenish my stock right here is bananas foster, um, which is a beautiful cactus variety. This one right here is called Melody Swing, which has a nice auburn sunset colored flower. It's beautiful. And over here, I plan on taking cuttings. So I didn't uh, completely bury these dahlias. Uh, Melody Swing, and again, the Banana Foster uh, variety. So I'm gonna go ahead and take cuttings of these. And as you can see, there's some growth already starting. So that's perfect. Over here, you can see the eyes in this Melody Swing. Beautiful. So I'll go ahead and take cuttings. So down here in the basement um, is the rest of the stash of dahlias I have. They've already started. Bishops of Dover, Arabian Nights. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Alexander Great Brunera. All right. Serenade, it's a border decorative. Here's a peony flowered variety. All beautiful uh, selections. So the Kevin Floodlight, which is a huge dinner plate variety. So I don't know, I probably got uh, roughly 20 to 30 different varieties <laughs> that I've started. So I am definitely redeeming myself with my Dahlia stash. Up here, I have um, all of the seeds that I sown in the early part of the video on heat mats. And uh, pretty excited and can't wait to get this season off on the right start. Uh, had a slip up, but hopefully I've redeemed myself. All right, guys. Happy growing.